So in this video, we're going to cover how to solve complex logarithmic equations. Um, so to start off with, uh, you want to get everything that has a logarithm in it on one side and anything that's just a number on the other. So you can kind of think about it. Uh, it's basically just, um, just a simple algebra equation uh, is what it really boils down to. So what you're going to want to do is add log 2 x minus 1 over here so it cancels out on that side and you can rewrite it as log 2 x minus 3 uh, plus log 2 x minus 1 equals 3 and if you remember the uh, the rules of logarithms if they have the same base and they're being added together, they're essentially, um, this is being multiplied by this. So these two are going to be multiplied by each other and they're going to be in a single logarithm of 2. So it's going to be log 2 x minus 3 times x minus 1. If this was a negative sign, it would mean this is divided by this, but since it's a positive, it means that this is multiplied by this. So it's going to be uh, log base 2, um, x times x is x squared, or actually um, we should just rewrite it as this for now, because we're going to eventually cancel out the logs. So once you're in this format, what you're going to want to do is raise both sides. Um, or essentially, uh, you want to give everything a base of 2. So what I kind of do is, it's kind of like a little shortcut. You can just do 2 to the power of 3, and then 2 to the power of log base this, because you're doing the same thing to both sides, so it's legal. So these cancel out, and then you're left with x minus 3, x minus 1, is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And if you factor that out, it's going to be x squared minus x minus 3x uh, plus 3 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So then you can rewrite this again. You want to get everything on one side. So these guys get added together. So it's going to be x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 8. Then we'll move over here. And then we want to get 8 on this side so we can subtract 8 from this side and subtract 8 from this side so we're going to have x squared minus 4x minus 5 uh, is equal to 0 so then after we're in this form uh, it's nice because it actually factors out so we're going to have x minus 5 and x plus 1 so our answers we're going to end up with two answers. Uh, you're going to have x equals 5 and x equals negative 1. But when you get to this point, you have to be careful because you may have found both answers, but only one, um, only one answer works for anything that has a logarithm or a natural bait or a natural log. So you need to check. So if you plug 5 back in to both of these, it's going to be 5 minus 1, which is okay, because remember that inside the logarithm, Inside these parentheses, you can never have a negative number. Uh, it has to be a positive number or zero. So uh, x equals 5 does work out, but negative 1 doesn't because negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 and negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So it can't be x equals negative 1. So your answer is only going to be x equals 5. And that's for that one. I believe that's number 17 on the exam three review. Um, and then moving on to the next example, um, this is kinda, you kinda just do the same thing, um, except everything in this case has base two, so it's actually a little bit easier. So you can rewrite it as log base two of five times x, since they both have the same base and they're being added, so they're being multiplied together. So it's log base two of five x is equal to uh, log base 2 of 6 times log base 2 of 2x minus 1. So it's going to be 
log base 2 of 6 times 2x, which is going to be 12x minus 6. And then once you're at this point, since you have the same bases, um, you can actually set them equal to each other. Um, and a lot of times, just to make sure that um, even if they are the same base, just to sort of like cross it out and get it out of my line of view, I just put the 2 there, the 2 there. Since you're raising, you're putting that to the power of 2, or you're putting 2 to the power of this and then 2 to the power of this. Um, it's, it's useless, but it helps me remember that the logs are done. So it's going to be 5x is equal to 12x minus 6. And then if you got all your x's on one side, you're going to be left with um, negative 7x is equal to negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 7. And then your answer will be positive 6 divided by 7. And this one ended up only having one answer since it wasn't factorable. Um, so that's it for the first two examples. And then we are also going to do uh, these two. One's in natural log and the other one's in normal log. So for the natural